Just as we have seen what these cells look like in a smear of a person's blood, we will now look at what these cells look like in a smear of a person's bone marrow, which make the blood cells that we see in the peripheral smear. The stain, uh, a popular stain used to look at these smears of bone marrow is very similar to the uh, stain we see in the peripheral blood, but rather than uh, being a right stain, W-R-I-G-H-T, the stain used in the bone marrow is usually some modification of a GIMSA, G-I-E-M-S-A stain, which is very similar to the right stain in many respects, but stains a little bit better. This is a smear of a person's bone marrow. The white round areas are probably areas of fat, and that just like we see in the tissue sections, round, fairly distinct lobular areas usually represent fat because the bone marrow is largely fat. The next thing that we notice on low power of the bone marrow is that there are some cells like here and here and here and here which look incredibly large or perhaps 50 times larger than most of the other cells. These are the megakaryocytes. These are the cells that are making platelets. Here is a nice megakaryocyte here and here's one here and here's a couple down here and just to give you a nice quick view of a megakaryocyte they have a tremendous amount of fuzzy cytoplasm and this is where the platelets come from. Uh, now that we got one of the three lines of development out of the way, the platelets, let's look at the red cells and the white cells. Even though red cells are about a thousand times more common than white cells on a peripheral smear, in the bone marrow the ratio is reversed because white cells have a tremendously shorter uh, lifetime than red cells, so they have to be turned over faster. And without going into all the details, let's just say that every one of these cells that have coarse granules in them will be in the white cell series and usually uh, granulocytic series. And in addition, if we see that some of these granules, for example, like here, look very red and have a bilobed nucleus, we know that this is either an eosinophil or something that will soon give rise to a mature eosinophil. The rest of these are granulocytes, granulocyte, 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 granulocyte. Uh, the cells which have a round nucleus and a very dark blue cytoplasm are the precursors to the red cells. These are called uh, normoblasts, uh, and they uh, generally mature from very large cells with a lot of cytoplasm to very, very small cells in which the nucleus is eventually lost and a mature red cell, like you see here, is then produced. I don't think we should go into it in any more detail than that. Here are a couple of red cell precursors. Here's probably a red cell precursor. Here's probably a later red cell precursor. And notice that as a cell matures, the nucleus gets smaller and darker and eventually uh, is extruded. Uh, so we have seen the general uh, granulocytes, uh, some of which may contain red or uh, blue granules for eosinophils or basophils respectively. We have seen a megakaryocyte, perhaps pinching off some platelets here or here. Uh, and let's just cruise around for a little bit longer and perhaps we could see a few other things. You know this is a nice uh, norma blast. There are various kinds of norma blast, but for all practical purposes, let's call any uh, red cell precursor that has a nucleus a norma blast. Here is a large open uh, single cell that is not lobulated with granulocytes. This could very easily be a monocyte precursor. Uh, and as you know, monocytes are functionally and derivationally the same as um, macrophages. Here's a red cell precursor, red cell, red cell. 
Here's an eosinophilic precursor. There's another red cell precursors. And remember, if a cell is doesn't have cytoplasm or is squished or damaged or smushed, don't try to identify it. It's a, a sucker play. Here, But if you do see a cell that's very round and has a little lip of blue cytoplasm, almost certainly it's a lymphocyte or lymphocyte precursor. Um, I don't think I really want to say much more about the uh, bone marrow cells because there's no need to. But let's just say that in uh, the adult, the marrow is hematopoietic marrow in the marrow of the axial skeleton. The uh, marrow here is about 50% fat, but the other 50% are cells which are precursors to the various types of cells that we see in the peripheral smear, which are red cells, white cells, and platelets. And I thank you very much.